Hey everyone, Mortgage Nerd here. I wanna to talk to you about the difference between liquidity and equity. So liquidity versus equity. A lot of people are what's called cash poor and house rich, meaning they don't have a lot of cash in the bank or in stocks or somewhere liquid, but they have a house that has equity. Equity is your profit essentially if you sold your home. So if you buy your house at 300,000 and you owe 250 to start, you pay your balance down to 200, now your value is 350. So you started off with 50,000 in equity because remember you had 300 minus 250, you have 50,000. Then now your balance is down to 200 but your value is 350. So you subtract those and you have 150,000 is your equity. So for people who are house rich and cash poor, they come into a recession thinking, oh, I have all this money, let me refinance and cash out and go buy some other properties that are gonna be in distress. Problem is, you come into a recession like this one or even like the last one where the market crashed and they froze lines of credit so they prevented people from taking money out and values dropped at that time, you put yourself in a bad situation waiting to get there. So you have to get ahead of it. There's actually a Facebook Live video that I put together at the beginning of March telling people, cash out now. A couple weeks later, boom, cash out. Refinances got much more expensive, lines of credit have stopped lending in many places, not all, but the ones that are still doing it, they're more strict, their rates are higher. So having liquidity as you come into a recession is a necessity, not so much having equity. So there needs to be some kind of a balance. You always wanna have equity, you wanna pay down your balances, but why not have a line of credit sitting there with a zero balance available to you when the market is good? I tell people all the time, when you don't need money, everyone wants to lend it to you. When you do need money, no one wants to lend it to you. So make sure you have that right balance after this recession, getting ready for the next one. Start planning now for five, eight, 10 years from now when we hit the next recession because you, you need to learn from this one to plan better for the next one. Have that right mix of liquidity versus equity. Mortgage Nerd out.